Right, bit of charity shopping. I've tried to take some risks today. I've tried to buy stuff that I don't normally buy. Diversification, you know, is it's a way of improving the stock that you've got, getting more stock, getting the chances of finding more stuff is increased, obviously, if you're into more markets. So from watching other people's videos and, and things like that, I have took, bought some stuff today that I wouldn't normally have bought. Um, I don't know how much that stuff's worth. It's all a gamble. The gambles... In total, I paid three, four, eight, fifteen pounds for. So you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, I know one of them is not what I hoped it was, um, but I'll come to that later. Um, I bought obviously some stuff that I would normally pick up. Um, I've written down the prices I've paid and how much. I can get for them on eBay. Um, I think I've done pretty well. At the end, I'll, 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 I'll do a total and see where I am. But I think I've done pretty well today. Um, one of the best things I picked up today was two um, PS2 uh, Guitar Heroes. This is Guitar Hero 3. And then we've also got Guitar Hero 2. Now, um, I obviously, as I've said in the past, I cut my teeth in reselling on Guitar Hero. But I never really bought that much PS2 stuff. Now, PS2 Guitar Hero really does seem to hold some value at the moment. Um, I paid £10 each for those, so £20. The Guitar Hero 2 should sell for around £40, believe it or not. And Guitar Hero 3, £50. Plus, Guitar Hero 3 has also got the game for um, Guitar Hero Aerosmith um, for PS2, and that will sell for an extra fiver. So, from £20 to £95. PS2 holds money. I have checked them. They are all complete. The dongle is there for the PS um, for the Guitar Hero 3 wireless guitar. Obviously, the PS2, the oh, keep saying PS, Guitar Hero 2 guitar is wired, so it doesn't need a dongle. Um, I then picked up um, numerous bits of clothing, as I always do. Um, this is quite nice. This is um, an American football shirt, and it's for Iowa State. So that's like a college football team. Um, it's made by Coliseum um, Athletics. I paid up for it £7.50, but I should get around 30 back for that. A brand that you don't see that much of anymore, it used to be in my day, Sergio Tattini. This is a, obviously a standard track suit. Nice print on the back. Um, it's an XL, um, paid £6 for it. Should flip that for 25 um almost vintagey nike uh, t-shirt get some fresh air one pound fifty it's a medium no no well it says it's a medium on the label sorry it is an xl weird one pound fifty i get about 12 for that uh, a couple of other t-shirts picked up this diesel t-shirt because i quite like the, the graphics that was reduced from five pound to two pound twenty four, bit of a random, um, um, a random reduction. Um, should get around a tenner for that. So not huge profits, but it all adds up at the end of the day. This was on the sale rail. It's a Brook Taverner um, shirt. I bought it because I've sold Brook Taverner blazers for quite a lot of money in the past. It was only a pound, but it's not a huge, huge seller. Uh, probably about eight quid. So not really worth it in the long run. I also picked up this Star Wars Stormtrooper t-shirt. I'm surfing on there, again, because I liked it, and again, because it'll fit me. Um, that one was 4 99 probably about 10 to 12 on that one. Um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, last bit of clothing, I'll do all the clothing in one go. I think this is the last bit. Under Armour hoodie. You can see sort of a maroon colour and um, it's a large, paid up for it again, a tenner, so profit isn't huge on it. I'll get 25 for it though, um, so not too bad. Um, other bits um, that we picked up, there was these Y-Pack Spotlights for £3. There was two of these, there's that box and another box. But they're not actually the original Y packs in there, but it's not a problem. What they are is Maxtel. So they're Maxtel spotlights, as you can see, they're absolutely brand new. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely brand new. I, I, in fact, I'm not even going to bother testing them because they are brand spanking. They've got the brackets with them um, and everything, and they're in a box. Although, for some reason, a wide pack box, I'm not sure why. So two of them, £3 each, £6. Um, I'll get around £40 a pair. Um, so £6 into £80. So even though the wide packs aren't in there, I'm still glad I bought them. Um, what else have we got? We've got this Matchbox Motor City train set. I have checked it and it's all there. I paid £5. Um, not Again, not a huge turnaround. Maybe 15 but it is quite cool. Um, yeah, and it's trains. So obviously it's awesome. Now, um, everything else I bought was, was gambles. Um, it's not stuff that I would normally purchase. Um, so I'm trying to diversify. I'm trying to get into more markets, um, you know, to, to, as I said at the start, to make things easier. So I've picked up, um, well, I'll show you. Firstly, some glasses. This is a harp. I remember harp. Nice tankard. Tudor, made in England. That was £1.50. Uh, I've then got this nice little Guinness half pint glass that was a pound um and then in the same shop i got this caesar's palace you can see caesar's on the front now that's caesar's palace it's 3.99 it's it's like a well it's a it's a sort of a bronzy um colored glass very nice very big really heavy um that was 3.99 so I need to do obviously research on these. Maybe you guys could help me out if you think these were worth buying. Um, then put some uh, comments below and tell me what you think. I mean, Caesar's Palace, that surely is worth something. And um, the Guinness one, who knows? I might have just wasted some money. Um, I, then I say I was, I was going crazy at this point for, for ceramics and stuff. I found these. Um sugar tea coffee sugar set this was a fiver for the three this is tg green cornish wear um now i have researched those i paid a fiver so you get 20 to 25 for them the cork has almost gone i don't want to say moldy but it looks moldy so i'll clean the cork but the actual um vessels the actual storage jars are actually in really really good condition so yeah, they should go for about 25. So that one definitely paid off. Um, next one is very random. It's this. It's some elephants carved out of a, well, I think it's a bone. It feels like bone, but it's probably wood. Could even be resin. No, it's definitely wood. Like a black, let's say African black wood. And it's in the shape of a tusk. No, yeah, that was my elephant impression. Obviously, there'd be two, not just one. Um, it also looks a bit like a knife, but uh, yeah, I, th I say I think it's it's wood. Um, it's got the elephants on it. I just thought two pounds sixty. That's got to be worth something, hasn't it? Again, I don't know. I'll have to do some research on it, but I think that was a good buy. Uh, on the same sort of theme, I found this old wooden box got like a, a weaving on the top and also the bottom um i checked it over it just felt old the sort of nails on it look old i say i've got to do a lot of research there's obviously no markings or anything like that on it so i thought i'd take a punt on that at one pound fifty now the last punt that i took that, that i took was because our videos i've been watching recently from flipping sloth um check out his channel it's very good He's been buying um, green glass, but it's been uranium ware. Now, uranium ware can be worth an awful, awful lot of money, but normal green glass is pretty much worthless. So I saw this. Let me just get them out because it's a set. Bear with me. I'm almost there. So this was a set. You've got one big bowl. And then you've got these, one, two, three, 
for five smaller bowls of the same style. Now they're obviously green, they're green glass. Um, I had a close look at them and what made me think they could be um, uranium ware is there are bubbles in the glass. Now I know that he said on one of his videos, if there are bubbles in the glass, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bubble there. Then they, there's another one there. They tend, it, then it stands more chance of being uranium ware. If this was, I paid a fiver for the set. If this was uranium ware, it would be worth 35, 40 quid for the set. Alas, it isn't. I have made myself a UV light. This is a normal torch. I've then put sellotape over the top of it and coloured the sellotape in a red marker. Then put another piece of sellotape over, over it in a blue marker. And that creates an, ultra, an ultraviolet light. I tested it on um, highlighter pens on paper in the dark and it works. It, it worked perfectly. I then took this and shone it on this and nothing. Absolutely nothing. So this is just pure worthless green glass straight in the bin. Shame, but it was worth a try. If it had been, it would be really worth it. I think what I'm going to have to do is either take this with me somehow and try and test anything like that that I find in the charity shop or just give up on that one or just take the gamble because in the end it will pay off. But how much will it cost me till I get the correct piece? We'll see. All right, let's just tot up what I spent and let's see what sort of return we can have. Right, so just quickly added that up. I spent in total today £96 at the charity shops. Quite a decent expenditure, but obviously with the, the two Guitar Heroes being £10 a piece and then Hoodie being a tenner, you know, that's 30 quid of it, so that's uh, easy done. Um, from the stuff that I can work out the prices on, I'm at 325 so decent profit there, I'll take that. Plus I've then got, obviously, all of those glasses, my horn, um, elephant horn thing, and um, the wooden box the green stuff's gone in the bin so that's worthless so that's five quid down the drain but anyway 325 so after fees let's say 250 um after and postage um take off the the 96 pounds spent so that's 150 pound pure profit plus the glassware and the wooden bits which could be another 50 quid who knows um you know if that caesar's palace glass is worth 20 and the horns worth 20 we're well away, but we'll see where we are. Um, so, yeah, took some gambles today, bought some decent stuff. Hopefully the other stuff will lead to new markets for me and expansion. And this time next year, I'll be a millionaire. Um, I've heard that before somewhere. I don't know where. So there we go, guys. Hope that was of some use to somebody. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like, please subscribe. And comment below with if you would have got any idea on the glasses, etc. And um, see if I've either thrown money down the drain or if it is worth me pursuing these new markets. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as ever. And I will see you again very soon.